flashback. End of flashback. So for the steam line, this is what came off of the back of the uh, block. These are obviously block off, blocks off the steam line ports. And on the front, it's got a crossover tube here. And then this exited and went back into the cooling system radiator, whatnot. So what I'm trying to do is unplug these rear ports here so I can have circulation. I've heard of that, what is it, number seven cylinder failing. In the back there, probably gets too hot maybe, who knows. But in order to do the steam line, I'm seeing that I probably have to combine two steam line kits. I've got this one from Jegs, which has these nice dash four braided lines and they have a plastic covering on them here so they don't scratch and scrape up the problem is is these fittings that come with it i don't think i have clearance on these i'm gonna have to use different fittings uh these are kind of big and uh well let me try let me try this one i'll show you So in order to accomplish this, I got this other kit, which I think I'm gonna have to combine parts here. And a link is in the description for both of these. So this also uses dash four, although it looks like these have adapters on them. Well, I guess not. Yeah, so that's a dash four braided line. But this kit can be used with this Jegs one, I'm thinking. Well, not with these fittings. Because this had these fittings, which I think are gonna work better. So these actually go on the block and these all just go straight up, which allows for a lot more clearance. So I think if I use these four and then some combination of these lines, these and those, that I think I'll be able to figure it out. Unblock the, black, the back two, it's not gonna look too bad. I wish this was covered in the nice plastic like this one is. These are a lot thicker, yeah.
So the steam lines and ports start back here, comes up and around, ties into a dash four ANN fitting, comes up over the manifold, and once again, a two port dash four fitting goes below this intake manifold, then to this three-way dash four fitting, where it finally comes out, and back to the radiator. It's a lot of points of failure on there, that's not the best, but I think it looks pretty good. So with that leaves the wiring, which shouldn't be too bad. There were three wires that went to the alternator, which used to be over here, but is now over there. This connection, this primary connection here is the Ron Francis chassis um, wiring. And it's kind of on its own, so I should be able just to pull that through and snake it over there. This is in the engine wiring harness that goes to the fuse, the adapted fuse block over here to power the wiring harness. And then there is an alternator plug in here. I don't know if that's an exciter wire or probably goes to the ECM, throw some codes, things like that. But these two are in this wiring harness which I do have to undo now separate them and route it over there and I'll be able to route that just as one in fact it probably fit probably all will fit into this one here yeah no problem <laughs> 